right we're back again right so this time I'm gonna talk a little bit about date selection uh, simply because uh, lately there's been a, so a lot of questions from my students as well uh, about date selection seems that uh, date selection can do wonders uh, to help us in our daily life so they have been asking me what is this date selection thing and well okay good let me explain a little bit about date selection right uh, date selection basically is to use a good date to help us uh, in our endeavor in whatever we do right so the idea behind this date selection thing is that um, you want to use the energy of the day uh, to assist now the energy of the day comes from the rotation of the planets and because of the rotation of the planets therefore you will find that the energy keep changing every day every second every minute every second right so we want to use the best timing to gather all the good energy to help us so that is the idea behind date selection uh, why do we do date selection right now broadly speaking date selection they are divided into two categories uh, one type is called the personal date selection which is uh, oops uh, sorry about that one type is known as the one type is known as the personal date selection personal date selection is usually used for like for example people selecting a date to register their marriage register their new company or maybe even to register their new car right uh, go for a job interview uh, in hope of a better chance to secure the job uh, also things like perhaps uh, moving some altar and uh, installation and things like that now there are broadly two categories of date selection actually now one system is known as the personal date selection now personal date selection simply means you select a date for your personal use like for example uh, uh, selecting a date to register the marriage or to have a wedding banquet or to have uh, to go for a job interview for example uh, perhaps to go for a negotiation with your customers or perhaps your creditors or whatever or maybe some people would use this date to uh, move certain things in their house right or register a new car or register a new company things like that so these are very quite a well it's quite a trivial things are uh, right so these are many used for that purposes okay and um, the other category would be the feng shui date selection feng shui date selection basically is used for important feng shui uh, events such as uh, maybe moving into a new house uh, groundbreaking right uh, erection of the tombstone uh, maybe to do a renovation for example uh, so these are things that is mainly for feng shui application so these are broadly two categories of uh, date selection the purposes of uh, date selection now within each category there are a couple of methods of date selection uh, which can be which is popularly used or widely used okay so i'm going to talk about this in more detail in the next coming video but for now i just want to share with you uh, just a broad sense of what is this so some of the common methods of the personal date selection are like uh, the 12 day officer, the Tong Kong method, uh, which you will find in the Tong Shu. You know the Tong Shu, the yearly almanac that uh, you buy every year. Yeah. So those are the Tong Shu method, right? And then you have the more popular, the Nine Palaces, Chi Men Tun Jia, right? That is uh, one of the uh, common ones. So these are the, the very common uh, so then there are other methods such, such as the uh Sa method of the selection. So so these are some of the common methods. Uh. But actually Sun Sa is not so common. Uh. The Tong Shu is the most common one. And then you have uh, the Feng Shui selection system, you have the for example the Sun He uh, 
system you have the uh, red sun formula for example and then you have for the sun yuan system the shen kung da gua or the uh, sun yuan qi men now the sun yuan qi men is not the nine palaces qi men system uh, it's used with the 64 hexagram uh, so that is called the uh, sun yuan did selection, right? So these are all some of the system that you have for uh, date selection. Now, there are pros and cons. Uh, some systems are more superior than the others. Of course, that uh, depends on the school and the lineage uh, that the person follows. Uh, that is the about the overview of why we use this selection and the types of method of this selection. Whereas the detail part, I will talk about it in the next uh, following videos, right? So, and maybe it's good to mention here briefly that the uh, date selection. Now, in a bigger context, you see, in our life, we have destiny, right? Your destiny, you're born with certain destiny, right? And then each destiny, you go through a uh, luck cycle, right? Every 10 years, we all change a certain luck cycle. So these are very common uh, things now beyond these two then you have the feng shui effects of your house your ancestor grave or whatever right? so then the feng shui effect comes third so where is that selection now in the old days date selection is something like um, not part of the major stream is used as a supplementary for example, what do you mean by supplementary? Like, it's not your main meal. It's just like maybe your vitamins, just to supplement your health, right? Uh, so basically, the idea is that you use a date selection to uh, give a little push or a boost to the whatever you try to do. For example, like uh, let's talk about job interview, right? Maybe you hope that to select a good date that you secure the job. Now, that is maybe a good date will help you secure the job, but would you last in the job? That depends on your house home trade, that depends on your destiny, that depends on your luck cycle, right? If your luck is no good, maybe your house home trade is very bad. Even you get the job, you go through a lot of stress, obstacles, stress, uh, maybe eventually you might even lose the job, right? You may not stay long in the job. So these are some examples of why we do date selection. So date selection basically is something just an endeavor to help us for that little, that little moment, you know. So it's viewed as a supplementary uh, method. It's not the key. So if you want a long-lasting, um, strong uh, result, stronger results, then you should focus a lot on your feng shui application. Uh, as well as uh, perhaps improving your uh, destiny or your luck cycle okay so until the next video we'll talk more about the individual mis uh, systems within personal date selection as well as the feng shui date selection so if you want to be informed uh, just click subscribe and press the bell button behind uh, beside the, the, the button of the subscribe button so you will be notified every time we have a new video right okay see you in the next video